start getting out, I didn't mean babysitting. Some of us need money. Money's just something you buy shit with. <laughs> Says the girl in daddy's $40,000 SUV. Fuck off, bitch. Baby brother. He's 15 years old and he's sitting at home chatting with a bunch of cyber strangers about spooky spirits in the great beyond. <laughs> nice Saturday night. You should talk. Didn't we turn to that sign last time? I don't know. Who the fuck interviews twice for a babysitting job anyway? In the middle of nowhere, I might add. <laughs> I got the job, didn't I? Whatever. Now that it's official, they can pay for my fucking gas. It's up there. Text you to pick me up later? Maybe. <laughs> Thanks, Callie.
Hey. You scared me. Sorry about the weights. Come on in. Tanya just put the baby down. He's already in bed? Three months old and all he does is eat and poop and sleep. And he's already eaten and pooped, so you should have a pretty easy night. That's amazing. Oh, hi, Renee. You found the house okay? Probably a little harder in the dark. My friend Callie dropped me off. Oh, that's nice. If you would need a ride home later, Roman can take you. Callie will pick me up. Perfect. But if you need a ride, of course I can. What are you guys doing tonight? Just dinner and a late movie. It's our anniversary this week. Happy anniversary. An excuse to go out anyway. You guys don't get out much? You are actually Miller's first babysitter. Okay, well, Miller's not going to wake up, but if he does... He won't. But if he does... But if he does... Diaper and wipes are on the changing table in the nursery. His bottle's in the fridge. He likes the white noise machine, so you can just leave that on. And there's a monitor here on the tablet. We should get going, honey. Uh, what else? Oh, there's chicken in the fridge if you're hungry. You can just nuke it. Soda and stuff by the bar downstairs. Snacks everywhere. And a couch, bathroom, doors, the works. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm just going to go check on him one more we'll time. We'll be late. Okay, it'll be fine. The movie won't be done until after midnight, but we'll be home by one at the latest. Call or text if you have questions or need anything. You know, I'm just, I'll be real quick. I'm just going to check on him one more time.
Hey. I'm bored. Entertain me. <laughs> Your snap scared the crap out of me. I was having the weirdest dream. Sleeping on the job already? That's impressive. <laughs> what are you doing? Saturday night in Dysfunction Junction. Grace and Jay? <laughs> Shit! I told you to fucking knock it off, baby dick! Hey, I'll hit you back in five. was that? I said sorry. That picture, what was that picture supposed to be? What picture? That picture you just sent me. What picture? That sick picture. I have zero idea what you're talking about. I can't believe you do this. Sweetie, I didn't send you anything. This isn't funny. You sound really freaked. Should I come over? No. I think I should. No. I'm going to. Don't.
Surprise! There's no beer in here! What do you say? I have no idea. I said there's no beer in the fridge. Stop yelling, Jeremy. The baby's sleeping. Relax. Baby's room is like six miles away. This place is fucking huge. Well, if you wake him up, you can get him back to sleep. Oh, sorry. I don't take care of kids. I just make them. Get off. Yeah, you're a real man, Jay. Now, uh, tell us about the time the cop made you cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't fucking crying. The dick used pepper spray. <laughs> Besides, baby wakes up crying, you just let it cry itself back to sleep. Everybody knows that. Yeah, illegitimate father of the year. That's my man. Honestly, guys, I love you for coming over, but you shouldn't be here. If the Blascos come home, they'll freak out. What do they care? They're the nervous types, believe me. Yeah, Gracie will charm him. Or at least the dad. Wouldn't be the first dad I've charmed. <laughs> Slut. You love it. Guys. Honey, you were so scared on the phone. I don't think you should be here alone. I was freaked out because of that stupid picture you sent me. I didn't send you anything. I saw what I saw. It came from you. Who else would send something from your phone? Fuck you guys. No, nobody had my phone. I had it on me the whole night. What was it? Big shot. Shut up. Wait the fuck up. It was just a stupid, nasty picture. I didn't send it. Then who did? Someone with a sick sense of humor? How would I even get her phone? I was playing hockey with my brother the whole time. Yeah, glamorous Saturday night with the video game Goontards. It's the price you pay, baby. To play with the python. God. <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> Not to mention delusional. Yeah, you would know. Can we scroll past the Facebook memory moments, please? I'm jealous. I love it. Guys, really, it's fine. I'm fine, it's just, I don't want to piss off the Blascos. We'll leave by midnight and they won't know the difference. Cool? That's fine. Great. <sighs> Finally, now where's the beer? You're not drinking their beer. Oh, you are such a hero. You're not babysitting the fucking beer, you know. Movie time? Why are we watching this? Because it's a classic. Classically stupid, maybe. Because the other thing he wanted to watch was even stupider. It's more stupid. I didn't realize this was English 101. It's because you didn't pass English 101. I'm not going to school for blogging. I think I'm actually getting more stupid from this conversation. Actually, I think stupider is right in the first place. Tell me you don't think you're going to smoke in here. Come on. Grace. Fine. I'll go outside. I'll go with you. You want us to pause the movie? Oh yeah. Make sure I don't miss a minute of this piece of shit. Don't these people believe in neighbors? I think there are a few more houses around, but it's pretty spread out. I go crazy out here in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty during the day. Uh-huh. There's a path through there that they showed me. It's supposed to be good for hiking. A creek. Thrilling.
Did you see that? See what? By the trees. Yeah, gorgeous. No, right in front of the trees. What? I could have sworn I saw something. I don't see anything. Yeah, you're right. I, I guess I didn't either. Come on, let's go back in before Kelly and Jay kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, wait, this is the best part. Watch, watch. Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, that's the best part. Hold on. Get that camera ready. He tries to take a picture of it before he gets him. Ready, just watch. That's the best part. Watch, watch. Do you ever shut up? What is your problem? You make us watch this idiot movie, then you yammer away the minute it starts. So? It's an awful movie. What, I'm not letting you enjoy it? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> he does the same thing in the theater. That is so annoying. Tell me about it. People who talk in movie theaters should be fucking shot on sight. Hey, baby brother. How's babysitting? Hmm, the usual. I can't believe you broke away from the geek world just to check up on me. This is the computer age. I can do both. What's up? Uh, not much. Grandma and Grandpa wanted to know if you're coming home for Thanksgiving. Utah isn't home. You know what they mean. You didn't come for the memorial service. I know. It's been a long time, Renee. I know, right? Why is it so dark in there? I can barely see you. We're just watching a movie. We? Is Callie there? Hey, sexy. When are you gonna visit again? I don't know. Don't make me beg, stud. And that's Grace and Jeremy. Hey, Renee's brother. What's up? Hi. Are you having fun with your virtual BFFs? You forgot someone. Oh, you have real friends, too? No, you forgot to introduce me to someone. What are you talking about? Who's the other girl? What other girl? The girl standing behind you. It's not funny, Ray. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> What's not funny? There's nobody else here. I wasn't making a joke. Goodbye, Ray. Brene, don't be mad. I wasn't joking. Goodbye, Ray. Is everyone having a good time messing with me tonight? What happened? I don't know. Something's going on in this house. What do you mean something's going on? I don't know. I'm seeing things or something. What did you see? <laughs> Your little friend is completely losing it. You know she's messed up. Don't be a dick about it. Yeah, this isn't messed up. This is like some padded room shit. 
I told you that her mother died like a year ago, so give her a break. I could care less personally, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, you're just talking shit when you could be like a real person for once. Gracie, these people left their kid with her. Think about that. So what? So what? She's liable to stick it in the microwave or something. It's not funny. She's fine. Yeah, fine. She's about to file for divorce from reality. You're the one who doesn't seem to have a grip on reality. What are you talking about? You appear to be missing the reality of the fact that they left us alone and do not appear to be coming back anytime soon. He was just hanging there. Honey, he's fine. You don't believe me, do you? I believe you think you saw it. But this isn't the first time tonight, is it? The picture? There was no picture. Yes, there was! There wasn't. You all think I'm crazy, don't you? I knew it the minute you guys walked in here tonight. Honey, nobody thinks you're crazy. But, have you thought that maybe you need to go back on your meds? You haven't been off them that long. They were antidepressants, not antipsychotics. Grief and depression can affect people in all kinds of ways. Look at your brother. This has nothing to do with that. Honey. Callie, there's something in this house. Okay, slow down, Tiger. They'll be back eventually. Come on, Gracie. I'll be quick. That's not exactly an incentive. Just take off your shirt. We'll hear if they come down. Okay, stop. Let me do it. I didn't do shit. Did he hit you? What? Then what the fuck happened? You're all fucking crazy. That's what happened. What's wrong, Grace? You're fucking freaking everyone out. Shut up, Grace. Did he hit you? Quit fucking asking her if I hit her. I didn't fucking hit her. Everybody calm down. Jeremy, shut up for a minute. Don't tell me to shut up. This is your freak show. Grace, what happened? What did you see, Renee? What? In the monitor. Outside. What did you see? Wait, outside? Nothing. I didn't see anything. That's bullshit, Renee. Hey! Jay's right, you've been walking around here all night scaring the shit out of everyone and now suddenly you don't know anything? What happened here? We're fooling around a little bit. Jesus! Oh, fucking relax. It's not a church, okay? It's somebody's fucking living room. Try keeping it in your pants for once. It takes two to tango, bitch. It's not like she was complaining. Oh, yeah, she's great. Fuck off. We were fooling around on the couch, and then she screamed and started flipping out. Grace, what happened? What did you see? <sighs> nothing. It was just... Nothing. There's something in this house. What is it? I know it sounds crazy, but I think it was- Did you say ghost? I'm going to fucking lose my mind on you guys. Shut up, baby dick. A ghost, okay? A fucking ghost. Oh my god, you guys are off the planet. Jeremy! What exactly did you see? I don't know. It was a girl, that's for sure. Small. 
but I couldn't see her face or eyes. Jesus Christ. Do you ever shut up? Not when everyone else around me is acting fucking crazy, no. And she was just staring at us. You just said you couldn't see her face. I know. But I could feel it. Listen to yourself. What is your problem? What's my problem? I'm sitting here with a bunch of paranoid hysterics talking about ghosts. That's my fucking problem. I was right here. There was no girl. There was no fucking ghost. How do you know? Because there's no such thing as ghosts. Do I really have to say that out loud? So what exactly did she see then, Jeremy? How the hell should I know? She's probably just down the rag. <sighs> you pig. You did not just say that. You tell me what's more likely. You've got a case of the Crimson Crazies, or you saw a goddamn ghost. Fuck you. No, fuck you. Fuck all of you. Where are you going? I'm going to take a piss and find a beer. What the fuck do you care? Hey, ghost girl, I'm going to take a piss and find a beer if you want to kill me. Okay? Just let me have the beer first. Thanks. Jeremy, Just don't! Let him go. I don't think it's a good idea for us to be alone. Who gives a shit about him? If there's really something in this house... He's not going to listen to you, Renee. She's right. It's like trying to reason with a one-year-old. What? I just said he's not going to listen to you. No. Grace, what did you say? I said it's like trying to talk to a one-year-old. Look at this. Baby pictures. So what? Wait. I don't get what we're supposed to be looking at, sweetie. Wait! There. Look. It's a birthday party. So what? It's a first birthday party. Yeah, they're at a first birthday party. So what? No, they're not at a first birthday party. They're throwing one. Okay. So? So, Miller's only like three months old. And? And they don't have any other kids. Fine, so it's for someone else's kid. No, that's definitely their kid. Do you think they had another kid before and lost it? Maybe. So what, the thing I saw wasn't a one-year-old. No, these pictures are just from the kid's first year. Who knows how old it was? Come on. Seriously, why not? Callie, you met them. How old were they? Forty at least, right? At least. Probably older. Okay, so mid-40s. They could have had a kid that was five years old. It wasn't a five-year-old either. Fine! They could have a ten-year-old, a teenager. I mean, at their age, they could have a kid in its twenties. Renee! Why not, right? By that logic, they could have had an older kid who just moved out or went to college or whatever. Yeah, that's true. No way. These people interviewed me twice. That would have come up. How do you know? I know. What are you doing? I'm calling Ray.
is no way you guys are babysitting a ghost. Ray, I'm not screwing around. You've been obsessed with this stuff for a year. That's my point. I live and breathe this stuff. I hang out in live chats on Saturday nights watching lectures by paranormal experts and my stupid sister sees a ghost in Wisconsin while I'm stuck here in Utah. I mean, there's no way the universe is that cruel. Ray, if they lost their child, is it possible that her ghost is in this house? Of course it's possible. That's how this kind of thing works. What do you mean? Well, a kid probably didn't just die, right? More likely an accident or terrible disease or something tragic. That's like textbook ghost stuff. It's like their soul has unfinished business and it can't release until that business is resolved. That makes perfect sense. It does? What? Why are we taking him seriously? He knows tons about this stuff. He's just a dumb kid with a weird hobby. You know I can hear you, right? Don't be shitty, Grace. Look, no offense, kid, honestly, but give me a fucking break. Holy crap, is that the thing I saw when I called you guys last? Seriously, what did you guys see? Because what I saw wasn't a baby. I don't know what I saw anymore. We don't know how old the other kid was when it died. We don't know that, that they had another kid that died. That's easy enough to find out. Hang on. You should just tell the parents. And say what? That their dead daughter is haunting their house? No, you should just tell them what Grace saw. You'd think they'd want to know that. I don't even know what I saw anymore. Fifteen minutes ago you were pretty sure. None of this makes any sense. Don't let Jeremy convince you you didn't see anything. Where is Jay, anyway? Hey, I found something. What is it? Um, it's an online obituary. So? Wow. Yeah, they had a daughter who died like seven years ago. Uh, Rose Ann Belasco, daughter of Roman and Tanya Belasco, died unexpectedly at the family home outside of Madison, Wisconsin last week. I knew it. Here, look at this. Uh, joyful spirit, blah, 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 classmates, uh, devoted caregiver, blah, 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 loving grandparents. How old is she? Um, hang on. Nine years old. Nine years old. Could what you have saw have been a nine-year-old? I told you, I don't know that I saw anything. Grace. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Ray. Here, look at this. Here's a picture. She's beautiful. Ray, could that have been the girl you saw? I don't know. It's possible. I didn't get a great look because it was so dark. Holy shit. You guys have to get a video or a picture or something. I am not posing for pictures with a dead girl. How did she die, Ray? Um, it doesn't say much. It just says at the home. Can you look some more and see if you can find anything? Yeah, sure. Grace, could that have been the girl you saw? <clears throat> Grace, could that be the girl? Not now. What's wrong? Fucking asshole just sent me a video of him and another girl. Sleaze bag. Where are you going? I'm going to kill him! Ray. Uh, hang on. No, Ray, pay attention. What is it? Is it dangerous? I don't think so. You don't think so? How could he possibly know? Grace is right, he's just guessing. I'm not just guessing. Ray. Uh, hang on, they're doing a live Q&A in the chat, I'll ask. 
What do they think? Hang on, I'm still getting answers. I don't want to hang on, Ray. I'm scared. Okay, the general consensus is, is that a spirit of this nature, like a kid tied to the family, is only really dangerous if it's a discontented spirit. What does that mean? You know, if it died violently or tragically, or if there's some injustice that's making it linger between worlds, or I guess if it was a bad seed. But I mean, how could a nine-year-old be a bad seed? You obviously don't babysit. <laughs> You're all so funny, Kelly. You're really not making me feel any better, Ray. Any of those things could apply here. Yeah, but that's not the only factor. What do you mean? Well, those are just the reasons that a spirit might be bitter or angry, but that doesn't make it dangerous. Can we cut to the chase? Fine, so what makes it dangerous? Well, most of the evidence suggests... Evidence? For lack of a better word, whatever. Most of the evidence suggests... That a spirit like this is only really dangerous on the anniversary of its death. Why? I don't know, but people think that it's only on the anniversary of its death that it can actually physically interact with this world. Physically interact? What does that mean? You know, like, grab something, pick something up, hurt someone. On other days, you might hear it or see it, but it's only that one day a year that it can actually cross the bridge and do harm. Okay, so is today the day? When did Rose die, Ray? Does the obituary say? Uh, hang on. I'm going to wring his neck. Found it. So... Uh, what's the date today? October 7th. For a few more minutes at least. When did Rose die? Yeah, you guys are fine. She died on the 3rd. Okay, that is way too close for comfort. You're sure? Absolutely. Uh, it says the 3rd and the obituary itself is dated the 5th. You guys should be totally fine. I believe you, right? but can you please just confirm that? Maybe see if there are any news articles? Anything that confirm it. Um, yeah, I have to go to the bathroom real quick, but um, I'll be right back. Thank you. Brene, you know what this means, right? It doesn't mean anything, Ray. Just call me back in my cell, okay? Okay, bye. I take it back. I'm really happy you guys came over. Can't believe it's already meant. At least we know the little shit isn't dangerous. Jesus, Grace. You scared the shit out of me. If we're coming to apologize, I'm not interested. What is your problem? Yeah, you had your chance. I'm not interested. Come on, Grace. Grace. Oh, what the fuck? Did you fucking bite me? Mm. 
Jesus Christ, what is with you? Funny asshole. wants to know how it's going. No, he doesn't. I have no idea what to say. Tell him one child is sleeping, but the other is definitely up. That's not funny at all. Seriously. I feel like I should say something. Please. What are you going to say? That there's something strange going on in their house? You will freak them out. That there's something here? Renee? That it might be their daughter? Be serious. If you tell them that, they'll have you committed. What? What?
Honey, what's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. It's not just that. Something just happened. <sighs> what? I never told you what happened to my mom. I know she died just before you came to college. Her one year memorial service was last month. Cancer, right? That's what I tell people. But it wasn't. Growing up, it was just mom, Ray, and me. She was only 18 when she left home and moved away with my dad. Then he left right after I was born. Just one day, bye. My mom's like 20 or something, no education, and a baby. Her parents are halfway across the country holding a grudge, and she's completely on her own. So, four years later, Ray comes along, but his dad was never really in the picture either. In and out of school, in and out of jobs, in and out of guys. But she tried. She really did. She busted her butt and did everything for Ray and me. 
everything. What happened? So, last summer, after I graduate, my summer job's at this yogurt place. And my mom's supposed to pick me up one night from work. But she's late. So I'm texting her, where are you? Did you forget? What's going on? But she's not responding because she's obviously driving, right? But I keep texting her because I'm being a bitch and I'm all pissed off. She must have gotten worried that she was getting all these texts because a witness said that she was looking at her phone when she slammed head on into a pickup truck. Died instantly. Renee, sweetie. So you stand at her casket and you cry and you lie in your dorm room at night begging her to forgive you. And your baby brother gets obsessed with spirits and ghosts because, hey, Maybe if ghosts are real, she's not really gone. But she is gone. Just gone. And you don't know if she hears you. Or if she forgives you. Or if she even knows. She was everything to Ray and me. And the last thing I said to her before she died that she was a terrible mother. Sweetie. <sighs> They're going to be home soon. We should find Jay and Grace. Are you okay? I'm fine. Let's just get this night over with. Okay. Why don't you look by the bedrooms and I'll look downstairs? No. We should stay together. Honey, your brother said we didn't have anything to worry about. Something's not right. Okay. Let's go together. It's Ray. I'll go check downstairs. No, wait for me. Ray. How are you guys doing? We're scared. Did you find out anything more? It's totally fine. You guys are perfectly safe. Are you sure, Ray? There's weird stuff happening here. I'm 100% sure. Rose might be messing with you guys, but she doesn't pose any real danger. I don't know, Ray. Did you find out anything more about her? I found an article online, but it didn't say much. How did she die? Accidental drowning. She drowned? Freak accident. She was playing with some friends by a creek and got tangled up and died. That doesn't make any sense. We have to be missing something here. Why? Because she's here, Ray, and she's angry. I don't believe she's not dangerous. Grace, Jeremy, are you guys down here? If you guys are screwing around down here, we need to get going. <laughs> guys, are you in here? What if it isn't Rose? What? What if there's something else in the house and it isn't Rose? That's impossible. It has to be Rose. Why? We're just assuming that it's her. It might be something completely different. We don't know. 
But what else could it possibly be? I don't know. Maybe someone who lived here before? Maybe someone who died building the house? Maybe just some... You're talking crazy. I'm not crazy. Just try and keep calm. Let Miller sleep and wait until his parents get home. It'll all be over soon. No, Ray. Whatever is in this house is dangerous. And if Rose isn't dangerous, then it's not Rose. Renee, stop. No. There's something here that we're missing. There's something here we're not seeing. There's something we don't know. Why did you say Miller? What? You said, let Miller sleep. Why did you say Miller? I never told you the baby's name was Miller. soon, so we need to get out of here. Quit screwing around, we need to go. Did she drown? What? Yeah, how'd you know that? 
The date was wrong, right? The date was wrong and the accident was seven years ago today, wasn't it? No, Renee, the date wasn't wrong. It has to be. This has to be the anniversary of her accident. No, Renee, listen. It wasn't an accident. What? There was a nanny, and it was never proved, but the police suspected that the nanny... What? A nanny. One of those foreign exchange nannies or whatever. What are you saying, Ray? There was a nanny, and she killed Rose. She drowned her in a creek behind their house. What? Why? They don't know. She wasn't right. She had a history or something. I don't know. It all came out later, but none of it's very clear. But you said it was never proved. No. Why not? Because she died, Renee. What? She hung herself. When, Ray? That's what I'm trying to tell you. It was tomorrow. What do you mean, tomorrow? That's what I'm trying to tell you. You have to get out of that house by midnight. Because the nanny killed herself seven years ago tomorrow. Oh my god. What? You're in Utah, Ray. It's already tomorrow. Get help. There's no time, Kelly. 
Callie. The neighbors? They're too far away. We have to get Miller out of here now. I can't see anything. It's too dark. Drop my phone over there. I think I can find it.
Some